Uh, yesterday, I came to Nyamira County for a funeral of a very close relative. And my client, one Mr. Masengeli, was supposed to appear before the judge for mitigation and sentencing. It's unfortunate I was not present. And he failed to attend because of reasons that the court was told. But very many issues have arisen out of the Masengeli saga. One, who is my client? That is Masengeli. Number two, what is the politics behind the persecution of one acting inspector general of police? Three, what is the import of the orders given by the judge in terms of the national security and in terms of the way going forward? First of all, my client, Masingeli, comes from the administration police service. He was appointed an acting IG awaiting the appointment of the substantive inspector general of police who is still being processed by parliament. He has undergone vetting at the Senate. He's awaiting the National Assembly. Then if he passes, then his name will be forwarded to the president for appointment. As he is there, Mr. Masengeli, one, joined the Kenya police in 1989 as a police constable. He rose through the ranks from a constable to a corporal, to a sergeant, to an inspector, to a chief inspector, to a superintendent of police, to an uh, assistant inspector general of police, to a commissioner of police, to the position he is now the DIG, the deputy inspector general in charge of the administration of police. Masengeli has a bachelor's degree from Kimathi University, Dedan Kimathi University. He has a master's degree from the same university, that is Dedan Kimathi University. He is an ongoing student at United, uh, USIU doing, pursuing the doctor's degree. And therefore, when you look at the competence of that person, you will understand that he's not there by accident. He's there by right. In terms of the professional qualification, he has undergone various training courses, both locally and internationally. And his CV, when you look at it, you get to understand that he's the richest CV in the police circles. So the question that arises, why is Masengeli facing what he's undergoing? The questions of our politics is that once the IG retire, was resigned or retired, IG Kome, the position fell vacant. There are people who believe that in the event parliament does not approve the proposed substantive IG, that is Mr. Kanja, because of any other reasons that are known by Kenyans, either one, that he comes from the same region with the CDF, the Chief of Defense Forces, and he also comes from the same place, same ward, with the, His Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. The Parliament will demand that there must be the face of the Republic of Kenya in security apparatus then they reject him. The most probable candidate to get that position is Masengeli. So, the politics of succession seems to have started honestly. The question before the court was that there were activists who went missing. The Law Society of Kenya, surprisingly, the president of the Law Society of Kenya, with his full counsel, the former presidents of the Law Society of Kenya, 
two of them, that is my former LSK president, Eric Theory, former LSK president, Nelson Hardy, joined forces with the civil society and they filed a petition for habeas corpus. Habeas corpus means that anybody who is in the possession of the police shall be produced in court alive or dead or a death certificate. That is the purpose, the meaning of habeas corpus. Among the people who are sued is my client, the deputy, the acting IG Masengeli. Masengeli did an affidavit. He responded to that affidavit. And in the content of the affidavit, it was very clear that the, the activists were never in any police custody. They were never in any police Land Rover. They were never in any police cells. So the police cannot be held liable for people who are not in their custody. But my client undertook that in their role as prescribed in Article 244 and 245, creating the National Police Service Commission service, they will investigate. They have opened an active inquiry file at Kitengela Police Station. They have opened a file at the DCI offices. They have opened files all over. And anybody with the information can give that information to the police. That was the content of the affidavit. Surprisingly, the court rejected the affidavit, which is contrary to the law, and demanded that the acting IG comes to court. The law as it is, if an affidavit raises issues, then you want to cross-examine the deponent, the one who has sworn that affidavit. You make an application, specify the paragraphs that you want to question whoever has sworn that affidavit, then summons are issued for that person to come and be cross-examined on a few paragraphs that you have, uh, one has an issue. That was not done. The acting IG was summoned. He provided explanation as to why he was not available, which is that the state security was at risk. And therefore, the notice for him to appear was unreasonable. It was without merit. The timelines were unreasonable. And the court did not take care of the position of the IG. He further went ahead and delegated the one in charge of the, the national police, the DIG for police services, one Elud Lagat. I did appear in court with Elud Lagat. We were denied a chance to explain court wanted the IG, the acting IG, in person. It is very surprising. Failure, then he was convicted in absentia. Yesterday, my colleagues, Miller, Ogola, and the other councils made an application to stay the proceedings to allow our client to come and mitigate the court rejected and went ahead and sentenced Masingeli, the acting IG, in absentia without mitigation. In, contra in contravention of Article 47 that demands that everybody must be given a fair chance to be heard in contravention of Article 49 and Article 50 of the Constitution. Uh, my client was condemned and had he had sent his advocates and by law an advocate has the full force to appear and defend his client the advocates requested to mitigate the court was not ready it rejected 
and this is sentenced my client to six years and six months and surprisingly the court said that if he has if he wants that sentence implemented he walks himself to prison the procedure of going to prison is clear once you have been sentenced you are arrested once you are arrested commit or bundles assigned are brought from prison they are signed by the magistrate or the judge committing you then those committal bundles are the ones that will admit a prisoner in custody this is a replica of my client's case again when George Kinoti the DCI was also sentenced and told to walk to committee prison it never materialized it is academic the prison authorities don't receive visitors who will say we have been told we have been sentenced open the gate let us get into the the prison cells that is an, a serious anomaly and that is the politics that you can see that the conviction and the sentence of one masengeli is political two when you look at the question about the i the inspector the minister for interior being ordered that in the event masengeli does not go then he has a duty to bring him to prison the minister for interior has no police powers of the state he's a civilian clothed with the power as the minister for the interior he cannot arrest powers of arrest are conferred on the national police service commission and the agents that is the police officers so that is why i'm saying the second limb tells kenyans that there is a lot of political witch hunt masengeli comes from western kenya the luya nation this is the first time that that position has fallen outside the regions where the position of then commissioner of police now the inspector general of police for the first time the position if the current substantive head does not make it then it will go to western so there is a serious political witch hunt. the sentence is purely meant to blackmail masigel if he succeeds to get the position but if that position is vacant when you look at the ruling the, the sentence was suspended for seven days and the court surprisingly says that he can redeem himself by appearing before the same court within seven days the law is very very settled once a judge or a magistrate has sentenced by law he becomes functors official he cannot review his own sentence masengeli can only move to the court of appeal to vary to set aside that sentence so that order of the judge is not based on any any known law we shall be moving with speed on Monday morning to the Court of Appeal to set aside those orders so that because the orders do not have any basis in law they do not have any precedent that have been set they are orders that cannot be implemented and that is why I have called the media for Kenyans to understand that this is not a criminal question this is not about the law this is the politics 
of succession of the position of the National Police Service who becomes the Inspector General. Lastly, what comes out to the country now that this, uh, the acting IG has been sentenced? There is nothing wrong. The law provides that anybody who is sentenced above six years is the person who loses his position. My client Waluke was sentenced, he went, he came out, he's still serving as a member of parliament, yet he has been convicted. So the law as it is, it is when you have been sentenced above six years, six months, that is when you lose your position. What is the current position of the law of contempt? The contempt law was declared unconstitutional. What we are operating on is the Magistrates and uh, Act, Cap 10, that is providing for reason on how to deal with contempt. So we shall be moving to the Court of Appeal with speed to restore sanity in the country. My appeal from my clan is to the whole nation to be settled that there is nothing that stops the, the acting Inspector General of Police to discharge his mandate. All organs of the National Police Service are in place and the security operators have their centralized command in the acting Inspector General of Police and the lawyers, as we are, as I've said, I shall be moving together with the other lawyers to set aside those orders as we resume on Monday morning very early. Even the Mesema Nisia Sabing, Yakujaribu, Kumond, Kungangania, Kiti, Kiliambachu, Nicha Inspector General, Yuliambaya Libroile Nafasi, Amepiwa Msasa na Senate. Iliyosalia ni bunge la kitaifa akipita pale licha kwamba kuna masuala na maswali mazito kuhusiana na mambo yake ikiwa tafaulu basi ule client wangu atarudi nafasi yake ya kuwa yeye ni kaimu wa mkuu wa inspector general mkuu wa kitengo cha administration police nimeelezea kwamba ule ni mtu aliyeingia katika kitengo cha polisi mwaka 1989 katika ile nafasi ya chini ya consta amepanda zile ambazo ni madaraka zote kuanzia constable mpaka amefika nafasi ya kuwa deputy inspector general of police amna shahada ya bachelor's degree na master's degree kutoka chuo kikuu cha Kenya Dead and Kimathi University anafanya sasa karibu na maliza shahada ya PhD katika chuo kikuu ambacho anaendelea na masomo yake. Kwa hivyo ni mtu aliyesoma vizuri. Tatu nimeelezea kwamba siasa hizi zimeletwa kwa sababu kuna uwezekano kwamba masengi wapo Daud Kanja ule Kanja ambaye uenda kapata ile nafasi akapata sababu ambayo inamzuia yeye kutopata basi masengeli uenda kaipata ile nafasi na kwa sababu anatoka upande ule western kenya